Greetings, Taurus. So I'm coming to you with this quick reading. Um, we're going to start off with your um, tarot first. I use the uh, Tarot Nefertari Oracle. So from this, I mean tarot. <laughs> so from this tarot deck, you receive the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and you receive the Death card, which is represented by Anubis. So um, the energy I picked up from these cards is that I was saying was something attempting attempting to be orchestrated um, and it fails or um, a bad altercation, something about an altercation. Also, uh, when I went to start your reading, um, let's get it started by the Black Eyed Peas. I started channeling that song. If you're not familiar with that song, I will link it in the description box either way. So the firstly, we're going to start. And if you hear that noise in the background, that is my cat. But we're going to get started with what well, next we're going to get started with your Native American animal symbolism cards. And the first card you received was the ant. And this symbolizes team player and worker next you receive the mouse this symbolizes timid secretive and sneaky next you have quail and this symbolizes sacred spiral ceremonial and holy okay so moving along we have your aura oracle cards the first card you received was the heart chakra so it says, I yearn for more versus expressing gratitude or thankfulness for what I currently have. Next, you receive the crown chakra. Did I say this? I hope I said the heart chakra for the first card. Second was is the crown chakra. It says surrender to something larger than yourself. Okay. Next, we have your astrological house cards. So the first card you received was the relationships, marriage, and partner. And um, this will be found, um, this is the seventh house. Um, I will put a link in the description box where you can get a totally free natal chart. Natal charts are very interesting. Um, and then you will be able to see what zodiac rules your seventh house. Next, we have study, and this is represented, this is in your ninth house. Then we have international, and this is also in your ninth house. Next, we have your mental health exercise oracle. The first card you received was mood tracking. And then you have your second card, and it says cut out processed foods. Next, we have your Elements Oracle cards. So the first card you receive was Chromium. And it says, balance, clarity, joy, gives you a sense of being, um, what is this? Okay, embrace in nature's tranquility and the mystery of a forest. Also, the Chromium Quartz, is amazing at purifying. Next, we have antimony, and it says antimony represents the wild, instinctual, and free-spirited part of human nature, commonly also represented as a wolf, and it is a symbol of protection. So following that, we have some random words and messages. So the first card you received was eat more fruit. You have the room that represents health, honor, and cleansing. You have earth angel or angels. We have flirtatious. We have new home. Following that, we have the room that represents justice, leadership, and logic. Then we have third party situation. We have light a candle. We have clear courts. We have Facebook. We have obedience. We have matrix. Female. 
ancestor or ancestors. We have childhood wounds. We have Amora. And then we have STD or STI. So that is everything that I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You can comment if you choose to. Hit that bell notification so you can get my alerts when I upload. And thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you in the next video.